What's going on everybody? Gary here. And today, I would like to do an unboxing and review of the Zion Smooth Q 3-axis stabilizer gimbal. So now, let's dive into the Smooth Q 3-axis stabilizer gimbal. I decided to purchase this gimbal after shooting my first and second vlogs for my channel. If you haven't seen those videos, click the icon above and you can go and check those out. So after shooting the footage and editing it up and viewing it, I noticed that it was very shaky. And the reason it was shaky, I was just shooting it using my cell phone and I was just holding the cell phone shooting the footage. So I decided to go and pick up a stabilizer. I figured a selfie stick was going to give me the same effect as holding it by hand. So, I decided to go and pick up the stabilizer. The gimbal is very cost efficient and supports smartphones with screens up to 6 inches and the GoPro Hero 3, 4, and 5. The gimbal weighs just under 1 pound and features 360 degrees of pan, 320 degrees of tilt, and 320 degrees of roll. The Smooth Q has an amazing battery life of 12 hours and has the ability to charge your smartphone while you are recording. Let's go ahead and crack this box open and I will show you what all comes with the Zion Smooth Q 3 axis stabilizer gimbal. When you first open the box, you'll find it had another box. <laughs> After opening the box, you have a guitar shaped carrying case for the gimbal. It's soft, squishy to the touch, but it'll protect the gimbal from getting damaged. Nice feel to it. Inside the case you also have a carrying strap so you can carry the gimbal on your shoulder and you have the USB cable for charging and then the instruction booklet. So when you open up the uh, carrying case Inside, we have your three axis stabilizer gimbal. I must say, it feels really good. You have a series of buttons here. One is for your power and record. You have your mode selection button right there. This right here is your zoom in and out button. And then you have your joystick for your panning and tilting. So to get set up, the first thing you want to do is you want to take your phone and you want to slide it, excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. You want to slide it into the clamps. Once you have it inside of the clamps, you want to get the arm as level as possible. That is to prevent strain on the motor and cause it, uh, prevent it from uh, malfunctioning or breaking uh, early. So, right inside, I don't know if y'all can see that, there's a set screw right here. And what you can do, you loosen this set screw. Once you loosen the set screw, you can slide this arm in or out to get your phone level. Right now, it's not level. Go ahead and slide it. As level as you can. I think that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. So once you get it level, you tighten the set screw back down. And now, this is where the magic happens. Press and hold the power button. It will springs into life. Well, it's pretty much staying in position. Locked into that area. So this gimbal has three modes. Right now, we're in a locking mode. If I press this button one more time, I'm in the pan following mode. We'll pan left and right. If I double tap the mode selector, it puts me in the following mode. In the following mode, that's where all three axes will work.
takes a little bit of playing around to get used to the different modes. But one thing I did find with the Zygon app that you can download from the App Store or if you have an iPhone from um, iTunes, it shows you what mode you're currently in. So right now, I'm in the lock mode. Press it again. I'm in the follow mode. So I'm going to show you something really cool that you can do with the follow mode. If you press this icon right here, it looks like a little box with a dot in the middle. And you draw a box around an object. The phone will follow that object. Want to see it work? Here we go. I just drew a box around the USB cable right there. So watch what happens when I move the cable. The phone actually starts following it. Go ahead and move that back. The only thing I dislike about the follow, sometimes it's not as fluid. It stops to recapture the object. But wherever that object moves, see, I lost it, but wherever that object moves, oh, come back. it follows. So another neat feature that this gimbal has the capability of um, is going into selfie mode. So as we all know, the video quality on the forward-facing camera on a smartphone is a lot better than the selfie cam or whatever you want to call that on, on the smartphone. So what you can do on this gimbal is if you press the mode selector three times, it goes into what is called selfie mode. So you can use the forward-facing camera to do your shots and you'll have the flashlight and whatnot on you or what have you. The only downfall to this is you can't see what you're shooting. So you won't know if your shots are lined up or anything to that nature. But once you get the hang of it, um, you'll be able to produce some good quality footage by doing a selfie mode like this. So here in a little bit, I'll give a demonstration of what the video footage looks like in selfie mode. So as you can see right now, my phone is at 15%. Well, Mr. Message was upside down, but my phone is currently at 15%. So this is a perfect time to show you the charging capability of the gimbal. Located on the back side of the gimbal, you have a USB, standard USB port. So what you do, plug a USB cable into the gimbal. You power the gimbal on, and what I want you to do, I want you to pay attention to the bottom part of my phone and how bright the screen gets once I power it on. Now, the phone is charging straight from the gimbal. Like I mentioned before, this gimbal has a 12-hour battery life on it. So you'll have plenty of time to use the gimbal and charge your phone if needed. Right now, I'm using the follow mode. As I'm walking, the camera stays locked onto the lighthouse that's over there in the bay. No matter how much I move my arm, and as of right now, I am moving my arm back and forth. The camera is staying locked on that lighthouse. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to demonstrate the selfie mode of this camp of the gimbal. Like I was saying earlier in the video, I found that on my Galaxy S7, the forward camera gave me better quality footage as opposed to using the selfie camera or whatever you call it on the other side of the phone. The advantage of it having it like this is you can have your flashlight on your face if you're shooting in dark areas. The disadvantage is you can't get a good sight picture to make sure that you're in the, the shot or what have you. Another thing you may notice as I'm shooting in selfie mode is that my shoulders are going up and down as I'm walking. 
but the scenery around me is still fairly level or not shaking for the most part. Well, that's my review of the uh, Smooth Q 3 axis stabilizer gimbal. And I must say that I'm very impressed with it. For a uh, starter gimbal for a smartphone, can't beat the price. Um, if you're looking for a, a good gimbal for your phone, I think this would be uh, the way to go. Keep checking back. Have a good one.